Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. In this video, I'm actually gonna do something I haven't done in a really long time on the channel. I'm actually gonna go pick up something from OfferUp. So there's like an OfferUp ride along. But I haven't done it uh, recently on the channel because we've, you know, had this whole COVID pandemic thing and everyone has been self-isolating and uh, self-quarantining to try to flatten the curve. And uh, now that we're actually reaching the uh, end of May and, you know, going into June, Washington State is actually opening up uh, slowly. So we're, we have like this multi-phase uh, opening and and people have actually started uh, going out a little more than they were like in the last couple of months. So I'm feeling, you know, a little bit safer to go uh, pick something up now. Jan's girlfriend is actually interested in getting into streaming and she doesn't even have a PC for herself. So uh, I'm picking up these parts to kind of help her put together a build. And uh, I found a pretty good deal on it. But yeah, I'm going to head out right now and uh, I'll talk about the deal as I'm driving there. Who's this kitty? What are you doing? He's playing with the string by the stairs. So I'm going to go pick up a bundle from a Richard in Seattle. The ad that I saw him post up was a GTX 1070 for $220, which right now that's a really good price for that graphics card. Those are still super solid performance even right now in like mid 2020. People kind of still want a lot for those just because of the situation we're going through right now with uh, shortages on uh, online retailers or um, just no sales right now there hasn't been any really good sales for graphics cards especially in the two to 250 dollar uh, region so um, that's why I look to the used market the cool thing about this though is I checked out his profile and I saw there were other things that he had listed as well he had a Ryzen 7 1700 which he was only selling for 120 dollars which I thought was a great price it's gonna be more than enough for uh, 1080p and even 1440p gaming for uh, Jan's girlfriend as well as she's interested in getting into streaming because she does like cosplay and arts and craft so uh, this will be plenty for her to stream plus she's gonna have the GTX 1070 in there so she can encode either way whether she wants to do it based on the CPU or best uh, based on the graphics card that NVENC encoder um, so she's gonna have options there so I tell him I'm interested in the graphics card uh, and also that I'm interested in the power supply that he has which is an EVGA uh, I think G3 550 watt gold rated. Um, he had that listed for $50, which is a great price considering right now. Power supply like that would probably be around 70 bucks. And he says, yeah, I'm willing to sell everything. And he actually was willing to sell more for uh, a big bundle discount. So he had some Trident Z uh, 3000 megahertz RAM for sale as well, RGB, uh, which he had for $70. and. He also has a Fantex P400S and he's willing to sell that for uh, only 30 bucks. So he said the whole bundle would be $450 at the end of the day. So that works out to pretty good in terms of getting a graphics card, CPU, power supply, RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a case for $450. Before meeting up with him, I asked him, hey, what is your preferred uh, method of payment? And then I listed all the electronic uh, payments first when I listed them out. Um, and surprisingly, he actually said he prefers Venmo, but he would also take cash. So I was super happy about that because I didn't want to have to go to the ATM before this. Saves us both some time. Oh man, he lives in one of these high rises. Where do I come in and load? Okay. Oh, there he is. How's it going? Hey Richard. Alright. This is the case. 
Oh, this is a tempered glass one. I thought I looked it up and uh, they had the old version with the uh, acrylic still with the window. Oh, yeah. But uh, the, I think this is the S version. Might be the A version. I can't remember. Yeah. This is the case. All right. The power supply. And these are the cables. Okay. Here's the graphics card. Right. Look at this real quick. Did you uh, recently do like a major upgrade or something? Yeah, I just ended up buying like a bunch of stuff. So I just swapped out a bunch of stuff. You kept the motherboard? Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I kept, I did, yeah, hard drives I kept. Yeah. The motherboard I reused. Okay. Um, yeah. So then. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. Uh, that's everything. Okay, yeah, I mean, I trust that all this works, so. Yeah, it was working like. I like literally just swapped it all out like a, less than a month ago, so. Okay. Solid. What's your Venmo account? Yeah, I mean, that was fast. Yeah. Richard? Yeah. Alright. So that was 450 bucks, right? right? I think we're good. You want to check just to make sure it went yeah, through? Yeah. Awesome. Alright, cool. Take care. Alright, so there we have it. I'm going to route myself home now and then we can check out the parts in closer detail at home. So first up, uh, let's look at the big item first. So here is the Fantex. I don't even know what model this is anymore because he wasn't even sure. But uh, it is the tempered glass Fantex P what, 300, 400, whichever it is. Uh, I'll look it up later. Case is in typical used condition, I would say. A little bit dusty. You see some dust there and some dust there, which is fine. I will go ahead and clean this all out. And we look in the box, we have the EVGA 550G3 with all the included cables. So this is fully modular, 50 bucks for this. Right now, that is a great deal. Yeah, so I got all the cables right here. No ketchup and mustard either. Here is the cooler, the one with the copper slug in it. So this is like the higher quality ones when uh, they released the first gen Ryzen chips before they kind of went to all aluminum. So uh, this is nice. So here's the Ryzen 1700. Trident Z RGB 26 2x8. Fantex fans that came with this case. Uh, I don't know where he had these fans. Probably one in the back and then only one in the front. He also included some uh, Noctua thermal paste. And here is the most valuable thing in the haul. Um, a little bit dusty, just slightly. But I mean, I would say this is in good condition. And then it looks like we have additional magnetic LED strips too. So it looks like an RGB. So this is all. Everything I got for $450. Let me lay all this out and then we can kind of do like a quick breakdown on everything. $200 for the GTX 1070. $100 for the Ryzen 7 1700 with the cooler. $50 for that power supply. $70 for the G-Skill Trident Z RGB 2x8 for 16 gigabytes, 3000 megahertz. And the remaining is this case. Tempered glass Fantex P something uh, for about 30 bucks. That all adds up to 450 with the combo deal. I would say this is a good haul. I'm gonna get this all ready to go and just quickly test it, do a quick uh, graphics card and CPU stress test, make sure those are all good. And then uh, that'll be it. And it lives. There's the RAM looking pretty. Ooh, and there's the cooler. This all looks pretty good. All right, first things first. I need to get that NVIDIA driver. Hmm? Maybe Windows automatically detected it? All right, that might be good enough. I don't need the latest drivers to test it. Afterburner, come on. You detect it. 
You do. All right. We are just going to do a quick super precision benchmark. Mid 3000s on extreme for super position at 1080p. Temperatures looks like it maxed out at 65. The case is open, so that's going to affect it a little bit, but uh, no issues with the card, no rattling fans. Uh, nothing that was super apparent. So now I just want to I could do an Ida 64 CP is at 100% usage all 16 gigabytes of RAM are being used uh, GPU is at 100% usage GPU is only running at 63 degrees, which is pretty cool closing in on around three and a half minutes almost four minutes on this test. So uh, I think this is good. I'm happy with the results I am super happy with the pickups today, but I want to thank you all as always for watching for supporting the channel Let me know if you got any good pickups lately uh, Especially during the pandemic since people were probably less likely to be selling stuff Especially near the beginning of the pandemic everything's starting to open up now So I hope you all are starting to get you know better deals and stuff uh, in the used market since the new market is kind of wishy-washy right now uh, But yeah, let me know if you picked anything up in the comments uh, down below and then uh, any thoughts on this video or the deal that I got uh, but yeah other than that Thank you again for watching. I already said that I'm repeating myself now I'm just gonna end the video. So I'll see you in the comments as well as in the next video. Bye